five of every hundred Australian homes have radios. And with them, we can drop in on Parliament, follow a favourite star, or educate a child. We're crossing now to Memorial Drive, Adelaide. Where I wish to ask the Right Honourable the Prime Minister a question without notice. To Willie Martin, who's six years old today. We hope... ...and off his bat and uh, went down to a short fine leg to beat... ...on straightening up the house. Gold timber gets to the front, a lead by one length, two paper boy. Wide out in third place comes Misty Zale there, followed by Dolly's pal a half a length away. Next comes Silver Badge, just in advance of Lucky Tom, who is coming home well from Evergold. Inside the furlong, tall timber still leads by three parts of a length, two Dolly's pal. Paper boy and Lucky Tom all in line there, followed then by Silver Badge. But now tall timber appears to have it won from Dolly's pal and Lucky Tom. Now Lucky Tom's coming fast on the outside and they're fighting it out under the line. But tall timber has it. Now Lucky Tom heads him right on the post and will win it. Lucky Tom first, tall timber second, Dolly's pal third, fourth is Silver Badge, followed by Misty Desire, goal. Then paper boy front, uh, front page, the last two finish. Tall timber. Well, How's he's Waiting for the judges' placings. There are two types of broadcasting stations in Australia, national and privately owned commercial. The post office that carries letters, sells stamps and passes telegrams also licenses broadcast listeners. ABC from 2FC Sydney and 2NA Newcastle, New South Wales regional stations and shortwave transmitter. Commercial radio stations are dependent on their advertisers for their sole revenue Post office engineers and technicians erect, staff and operate the stations of the National Broadcasting Service. And the post office relays national and commercial programs over its nationwide telephone network. Broadcasting began in Australia in 1924 with two stations. Today we have a special broadcast on League of Nations Affairs. Today a vast network of stations covers the Commonwealth. And over shortwave transmitters, the voice of Australia speaks to the people of the world. Altogether, more than 146 transmitters are sending out programs for all classes of listeners in every part of the country. Tatiana, come and listen to our program. For New Australians, a program to help newcomers to Australia to speak good English and to understand the enchantingly lovely camellia blossoms, varying from white through delicate pastels to deep red, have stirred poets and artists. Presenting another episode in the series, Mount Mason Murders. In our last broadcast, you remember, Inspector Feathers was on his way to historic Mount Mason. I don't like this business, Sergeant. Be careful. He'll have us off the road. He'll tell me to drive as fast as I could, Inspector. But not like a madman. Look out! You all right, Feathers? Oh! Oh! Just my shoulder, I think. How's the car? We've got to get there. We've got to get there. One of the main jobs of the post office is to provide and maintain the transmission equipment for national and shortwave broadcasts. The Australian Broadcasting Control Board ensures adequate services from broadcasting stations. Field tests made in isolated areas may show the need for new transmitters, perhaps using short waves. Radio stations must be so located as to provide listeners with reliable and high-quality reception. Listeners to ABC shortwave station BLI2 are asked to write in saying how you receive our programs. Address your letters to the... The Australian post office broadcast... allocates the frequencies on which all radio communication stations transmit. This is worked out on a worldwide basis, for radio knows no frontiers. Once frequencies have been allotted, they must be policed against interference. VNS calling small ship Carlo. VNS calling small ship Carlo. Please come in on 6280 kilocycles. We are listening for you on 6280 kilocycles. Hello, VNS. Hello, VNS. Carlo testing. Carlo testing. How do you hear me, please? Over. And all OK. VNS finishing with small ship Carlo. Radio is more than the bringing of broadcast programs into the home. In Australia, there are more than 4,000 licensed radio stations serving the community in every possible way. 2KJ calling car 17. DL, 2KJ calling car 17. Accident, corner William and Riley Streets. 
Sydney to all aircraft, Sydney to all aircraft, here's the mascot weather, here's the mascot weather, 1100 local, 1100 local, periodic, altimeter setting, 30.31 inches. Attention, car two, stolen car travelling west along Parramatta Road. Car two to VKG, message OK. In broadcasting from national stations, the Australian Broadcasting Commission arranges the programmes the post office puts them on the air. 2BL and all regionals to kindergarten of the air. 2BL and all regionals to kindergarten. Kindergarten of the air to 4QG, 3LO, 7ZL, 5AD. Calling in repeater stations. Are you there? Water? Every year, over 30,000 programs from commercial and national stations find their way into the trunk relay test rooms of capital city post offices where they're relayed to further destinations. This is the ABC. The time is half past nine. Ready, children? Here is Miss Ruth Fenner for kindergarten. Good morning, children. How are all my little friends today? I can say good morning to you in all your homes and schools in every part of Australia. Now you say good morning to me. Good morning, Miss Fenner. Well, let's begin kindergarten this morning with some songs. We'll sing about Michael Finnegan. Everybody help me sing. You sing too. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chinnigan. programs pass through the post office test room and go out by underground cable under city and suburban streets, then by overhead wire to transmitters situated so as to serve the greatest number of listeners. Uh, overweight, underweight, tired, listless, restless, nervous, sleepless or run down, take blogs, pills. Remember the name... The little oh. princess lived happily ever after. Remember the door and knocked off and down and the referee is applying the fourth count of the various wool sales being held in the Commonwealth. A line of poles spaced two chains apart, boosting amplifiers every 150 miles. A continuous relay system maintained by the post office, reaching out across the continent, linking studios with transmitters. Here, at the transmitting station, music, drama, news and sport meet radio frequencies. Here, the final check is made. Program up to strength, program sounding clean and clear, From here it is far to go, for this is the last visible link between studio and wireless okay. sets in a million homes. Songs, stories and games. And now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Miss Santa. Mummy, how does Miss Santa speak through the wireless? That's quite simple, darling. She speaks in the studio about a thousand miles away and her voice just comes out here. Kindergarten program are you ready, ABC? San Francisco, Are standing by number test room. four. London in on number two. Ready and for amateur hour relay from 2GB to 3GB. London BBC, coming up at 0600 hours. That's quite simple, darling. She speaks in the studio about a thousand miles away, and her voice just comes out here. Yes, nothing to it at all. Just the invisible link of the post office.